exciting. Now Tom Brown video has come to number three, and today I'm going to present you the Tom Brown fetish number three. It's signature design of suits. Actually, I wanted to do this video for a very, very long time. However, I was kind of busy and lazy lately. Therefore, I didn't have much time to sit down and talk with you guys about uh, about this new video. However, today I actually thought to myself that I have to make this video, otherwise it will never happen. And here we are. We are sitting here, and I hope you will enjoy the video because it's gonna be very nice. Um, so talking about Tom Brown suits, um, everybody knows the whole idea of Tom Brown design started with suits. In 2005 or 6, Tom Brown has humbly presented 5 to 6 suits in his first collection debut. Um, actually, it was open people's eyes because he revolutionized the idea of how men should wear suits in America even including Brook Brothers, the traditional suit is always a bit baggy and boxy uh, with uh, enlarged patterns of the, of the shoulders as well as um, a very big uh, prolonged pants. That's how American perceives suits to be because it's very practical and it has given people a lot of movement. However, Tom Brown had, um, had an idea about how a suit should be fit. He once said in a video interview that if a suit doesn't fit, then it is not, let's say, it is not a nice suit. So later on during his designs, he tried to shrink the whole size of the suits and make actually the men wear the suits in a comfortable way, but even in a smaller size. People at that time had very negative review of Tom Brown. They said, well, this suit looks like it was designed for children or um, people laughed at his idea about the pants because um, they were always a little bit, in, uh, a few inches above the ankle. So people can actually uh, see men's, let's say men's cleavage, that is the, 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 the bare ankle. So people wasn't doubting about his idea and the sales was not really taking off at the beginning of the time, but he keep pushing it and keep pushing it and now Tom Brown I think is around a billion euro revenue company so under this concept Tom Brown has presented and, and even uh, improved his suits during the year and year and therefore now if you enter Tom Brown suit uh, Tom Brown store you will see the latest collection and actually before that there was all different kind of part of his uh, collection evolving now Talking about Tom Brown suits, the first thing we have to remember is all Tom Brown suits are fully combust. Actually, if you want to know the differences between a, a, a fused suit or half combust suit or fully combust suits, you have to look up the YouTube to look for more idea, uh, more uh, information. But the basic concept is that a fully combust suit gives people a more movement and it doesn't uh, going to deteriorate over time due to dry cleaning because it's not fused by chemicals. And also um, the suit will look much more comfortable and naturally uh, draping than a fused the suits. So um, given that, uh, people might ask then why Tom Brown suit is so expensive. That's because a fully combat suit actually consume more labor and time for a, for a suit maker than a traditional chemical suit because it's more like massively produced by machines. Um, if we look at the entire collection of Tom Brown, we can actually distinguish them by two types. One is for the fashion show, which are more fashion forward. He uses a lot of uh, an embroidery, uh, embroidery uh, as well as a lot of idea and reference to different kind of uh, in, uh, alternative movies or contemporary culture. Um, therefore, you will see some amazingly made uh, garments, but which were not so quite, uh, let's say, practical if you want to wear on the street. However, uh, during the fashion show collection, he was also trying to tune down the, um, as, uh, the, 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 the extravagant design and make it more like for daily use. So if you can see the suits that I'm wearing now, actually we can call these suits a fashion pieces from uh, spring and summer collection from 2016. So the entire suit is still fully canvas, made by 100% uh, wool. Um, you can see you have two different color. Here is a dark blue 
and here you have the gray part and the entire suit is embroidered with the theme of 2016 spring summer collection which is about wave the, the surfing and sea animal so you can see here there are some kind of little fish patch the embroidery and also here you have a, a boat with in the traditional let's say tone brown the tree color and with all the wave and this wave part by the way is completely hand stitched on so those kind of these pieces is, you can regard as a typical tone brown fashion pieces which has reference to his fashion show but then we have also the Tom Brown traditional classic suits and in that category uh, we can even subdivide it into two different types. One is the classic cut of the suits which features um, in a much longer let's say suit jacket as well as um, um, a high waist pants because in the other category is the slim fit low waist suits later on i will show you a different um, example of the suits how you can uh, distinguish them and how does that fit you in your body type now the second thing is about color tom brown suits come with a different color and now i would like to show you some of my suit collection so you can see what are the actual color differences between different tom brown suit what i have here is two classic tom brown suits one in the light gray color and the other one in medium gray color actually this one is much older than this uh, suits but it doesn't matter i just want to show you the color reference and both suits are actually um, the classic waistband with the classic length and fit of the suits. So let's make an example of the Tom Brown, um, the most, let's say, common and popular uh, medium gray suits. What you can see here, Tom Brown has always a very narrow lapel. And then it features with four different buttonhole. Um, here you have the three on the, on the lower part of the suits. And Tom Brown suits always features a back ribbon under the collarband. Uh, and also here you have the Tom Brown signature, um, the tree color gross grains under the sleeve. So this is a typical uh, Tom Brown suits, which is in a classic fit because the most simple way to distinguish it is compare with the length of the sleeve versus the length of the jacket. They are almost, you see, they are almost equal. That's one of the things you can, uh, you can see whether or not this is a classic fit or it is a slim fit. The second thing is you can look at the match pants. Here is the match pants. What you can see here is the traditional classic match pants with under the, um, a band behind the, the suits. So it is, looks like this. And then under that you have a tree color gross grain uh, ribbon uh, under. Um, so this is a very traditional uh, Tom Brown classic suits in uh, mid gray color. If we look at the, um, the light gray color, this has even one more different variance than the, uh, the previous one that I show you. Is the, you can see from here, the uh, interior, how you call this? Uh, the fooling in Dutch is that it's half lined. You can see from here, it's half length. So it provides more air in the summer when guys want to wear this to a weddings or to a parties outside when the temperature is high. So it's more breezing. And you can see the color in the light gray, but not entirely in one uni color. If you close by, you can see a small pattern of the suits. So this is the light gray. And then what, I was, and then what I'm going to show is the dark gray color. Uh, no, actually I don't have dark gray color, but I have the charcoal gray color, which is two steps more darker than, than the medium gray color. It's a dark gray, uh, no, charcoal gray color of the suits compared with the light gray um, of the suits. You can see a very distinctive color differences. Even the same style, this suit features slim lapel, four different button between uh, the classic signature Tom Brown uh, lining and in the back you have the tree color gross grain tag on as well as the sleeve you can see here in terms of the selection I would say 
um, if you want to go for tone brown uh, suits in gray, first of all, I would really recommend you to go for the medium gray because you can pair it with much more items. That's first. Second is um, it is more seasonal uh, flexible. You can wear in winter and you can wear in summer because the dark gray or a charcoal gray uh, suits, I would say keep it to uh, winter and the lightweight, you can keep it to summer. But if you have the budget, I would say go for every single gray color in your collection so you can rotate during the year and doesn't wear off your suit that quickly. Now, these three are all gray color. And Tom Brown, of course, also have this school uniform um, color um, in navy color. And with navy color, what is the difference is, I will show you later in the uh, video, is it always come from, uh, it always come with a golden button. So that's one of the differences. And almost all the navy colored um, suits are actually in slim fit. And now I'm going to show you that, uh, that design so you can see the differences between classic fit and a slim fit. And now what I have in my hand is a classic uh, slim fit, uh, low waistband suits from Tom Brown. And you can already see the button is actually in uh, metal. That's one of the uh, give back that you can see that this is a navy color. It also features a ribbon, uh, let's say tree color uh, ribbon under the uh, collar. Exact the same style in terms of number of the buttonholes. Slim lapel. And gross grain, uh, gross grain tag under the sleeve. But one thing now you can actually see is that you can see the waist, the length of the jacket is much shorter than the sleeve. Do you see that? And that gives away this is a slim fit jacket. You can see the differences. And then compare with the classic fit. You can see the lengths of the suits are completely different. If I put it one by one, right? As well as the uh, as well as the sleeve lens and the jacket lens. So this completely give away the fit style of the suits. So now if we know uh, the, the design and also the, 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 the cut of the suits, it's not very difficult to uh, choose now the one you want. But the second thing I want to mention is also about the material. All classic Tom Brown suits are made from, um, I think, Super 120 woolen, especially after he has uh, partner up with the, uh, um, I don't even remember, this Australian cool wool tag, the cool wool company. Uh, and then all the woolen has been uh, super 120. So it's very thin and very breezy and very silky. Um, but of course, during the year, he has also tried out different materials such as mohair uh, blend with the wool. Normally, the blend would be 30% versus 70%, 30% mohair and 70% of the pure woolen. So this is another material. And in terms of the fabric of the wool, he has the twill and plain wave. So for example, this one will be a typical plain waved uh, woolen suit. So if you go closer, you can see the pattern of the suits are all in triangle, like parallel with each other. So it gives the suits a much more, um, let's say, shiny sort of uh, effect. However, if you look at the twill, then it's completely different. If I go closer, you can see all the, let's say, slanting waving of the woolen. And then it gives the suits a much more, say, mm, a much more matte kind of effect, as well as the, the weight of the wool is a little bit heavier than the plan waving. So I would say plan waving was especially for spring, summer, and the twill wool is more for all season or autumn, winter. And one rule you have to remember, always have a white pocket square under, the, under this uh, pocket because that's how 
Tom Brown who would like all the guys to wear it. And also the second rule is about never button the full button under the sleeve. Always leave the last one open. See? So those are the classic um, suit jackets that I own during the year. And, uh, and then in later uh, part of the video, I will also show you different kind of, let's say, the fashion jackets or the suits that I own during the year. Uh, so you can see the differences as well as to make your mind when you want to purchase Tom Brown suits, what kind of style do you want? Actually, in terms of Tom Brown's language, suit is kind of like a uniform. A person should always be wearing a suit ready for uh, work, ready for a, a night evening, or ready for all different kind of activity. If you see Tom Brown, how he closes all his uh, fashion shows, as well as how he um, conducts his interview with different kind of, let's say, media or public relation company, he's always wearing a gray suit, maybe a medium gray, maybe dark gray, maybe charcoal gray, maybe light gray, and also he tried to mix different gray, say, a dark gray on the upper body and then a medium gray as a pants just to give a different uh, let's say style or different sense of uh, sensibility of the clothing um, but it will never deviate from that so what he regards as really the uniform part of his entire essence of the design which I really admire because it makes guys fashion much simpler the second thing you have to pay attention is when you want to purchase a Tom Brown suit, you have also really have to care about size. Now, Tom Brown size go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't even know if they have 5, but 0 is really small. If you have seen a jacket, which is, um, let me pick it up. This is in classic, uh, uh, classic style, then it should be okay if you go for zero or one size because it is much more classic cut and it doesn't fit your body so tight that you cannot breathe or lift your arm. However, if you are um, considering choosing a Tom Brown slim fit suit like this one, this one is in size one, but it fits me like size zero because it is so slim fit and I can barely even uh, wear sort of like um, uh, undergarment because then my, my arm is so tight that I lose part of the movement. So you really have to try it on when you decide to buy a slim fit Tom Brown suit. And later on, I will also show you when I wear the suits, how it feels like and how the style looks like. What I want to do now is show you a few of my fashion pieces from Tom Brown. Then I will show you how I wear it and I hope you will still enjoy the video and stay with me. This one suit is the collection of the fashion pieces from uh, Autumn Winter 2016, the American big economic crisis, that collection. So this suit, actually you see there's nothing different than the other navy suit that I have, but if you look at closer, the entire suit is heavily distressed. So if you look at here, under the shoulder, it's already broken, and here also, and if you look at the pocket and also the edge of the suits and on the back you can also see part of the distressed effect so these suits is the fashion pieces that from one of the season take the reference of, um, of the fashion theme at that time. So this is one of it. This suit, I don't know which collection it come from. Uh, however, I believe it has to be a fashion uh, collection because I never seen this pattern of the suits in, uh, in the traditional collection, uh, the classic collection before. So it's a hound tooth, uh, hound tooth pattern and a pair with these short sleeve trousers and also pair with the same pattern of the, of the tie so when you wear this, be sure that you wear a very long socks until your ankle because that's how the traditional men when they pair the classic suits 
with a short pants, otherwise you'll feel much colder. However, it's your own choice how you want to pair and how you want to present yourself when you wear a suit with shorts. But um, um, I think it's you can see from different Tom Brown's uh, picture that he often wears suits also with shorts. And that is really, for me, it's also another, let's say, essence of Tom Brown design, a bit more sportive, yet classic tailored. The last Tom Brown suits that I have is from the spring and summer collection of 2015. And that show Tom Brown has taken the reference of the Japanese uh, culture uh, in terms of the graphic and traditional technique of the embroidery. So what you see here is a lot of birds. It's simplify an Asian bird, simplify happiness and they have a lot of crowds. The entire suit is hand stitched and embroidered. Uh, embroidered. And you can see the traditional, the Tom Brown tree color uh, tags. And it's also pan paired with a uh, Tom Brown short in the same embroidery and the pattern. So it wears like this. And actually this one I believe is a slim fit suit. So what I'm going now is to try the, the, uh, the classic suits and then I try on the slim fit suits so you can see how the different fit is and then you can see, okay, am I more suitable for wearing a slim fit suit or is more uh, suitable for a classic suits. Um, it's very important, I want to stress again, it's about sizing. You really, really, really have to try it on for the slim fit version because Tom Brown has extremely well tailored its suit to a very small sizes for fitting uh, in his shrink suits idea. So you really have to try it on so as to see how it fits. Now first I'm going to try the slim fit suit. Now what I have it on is the slim fit suit. You can already see the differences between these suits and then the previous the fashion pieces I wore, which was a more classic uh, uh, cut of the suit. The sleeve is much shorter and it's much tighter. It's exactly in the same size one. And you can see how it fits. So this is the typical size one uh, slim fit suit um, in uh, mohair and wool blend. Well, it was quite small, but because I had the Tom Brown uh, classic uh, cashmere cardigan in short style on my body, therefore the undergarment really makes this suit super fit. And now I'm gonna to try the uh, classic version so you can see the differences. So what I'm wearing now is the traditional classic fit suit and you can already see the breathing and a bit more boxy and it provides a little bit more movement. If I stand up, you can see. The sleeve is much roomier and also here, even though I have the same undergarments on my body. Now, this is how a classic fit of Tom Brown suit looks, looks like. Um, actually, I think I have covered everything from Tom Brown suits, its fit, its designs, its size, its material, as well as uh, how much things you have to pay, uh, pay attention to when you purchase the Tom Brown suit. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye!